Holy guacamole, we've got a great show for you today. I'm Fuchi, and welcome to Tiny Kitchen Big Taste. You guessed it, we're making homemade guacamole. Now, chunky, creamy, spicy, or mild, one thing you can be sure of, this guac rocks. So grab that bag of chips, because it's time to bring it. So what you're gonna need are avocados, cilantro, an onion, tomato, jalapeno, which is optional, a lime, garlic powder, and salt. You'll also need a mixing bowl, a fork and spoon, juicer, which is optional, zester, which is optional, and a sharp knife. Before we begin, let's rewind three years. Don't be this guy. No, it's a total mind thing. You set your mind on the fact that you don't like a certain food and then you won't even give it a chance. And that's what I was doing with avocados until I tried it one day with a little bit of salt on top and it was amazing, which means I started to love guacamole, but it's so darn expensive. You practically have to take out a loan before you go to the grocery store to get a teeny tiny tub of the big G. So. I set out to create the perfect guacamole recipe that you can make for a fraction of the cost and in no time flat. We're gonna start by chopping up some of the ingredients for the guacamole, beginning with the cilantro. We're gonna go a touch on the chunkier side, so we'll just roughly chop our cilantro. And I will set this aside because we will add it to the guacamole later. Next, we are going to chop our onion. I will just slice it in half, take off the end that is not the root, and then we'll just peel back the skin. And then we will make little strips along the length of the onion, making sure not to pierce the root. Give it a turn and a couple more slices and we've got the perfect chop for our guac. <laughs> chop for our guac. Next, I'm gonna cut the tomato. We'll take off the end of the tomato, slice it in half. Scoop out the seeds because we only really want the flesh of the tomato. Slice this into little strips. Give it a turn. And we'll slice it the other way. We are going to bring the heat. I've got a jalapeno pepper here. If you don't like spice, just go ahead and leave it out. If you want to get crazy, do as my friend Anna does and add a serrano chili pepper. I'm just going to cut this guy right in half. Cut little strips. Give it a turn. And make itsy bitsy teeny tiny dices of jalapeno. On to the star of our show, the avocado. Now how to pick out the perfectly ripe avocado. You wanna press right here at the top, not around the avocado, cause that will bruise the avocado. Right here at the top, just press it. You want it to be nice and pliable, a little bit soft. Now we're gonna cut the avocado in half, right around the big old pit. Give it a twist. And then we're gonna take out our seed here, our pit, by whacking a knife into it. And this is the part that I always try to be very careful with, slice, little stripes in the avocado, making sure not to pierce through the skin, otherwise you're gonna get your fingers. And then I will scoop this into our mixing bowl. We're gonna add the lime next. I'm gonna start by zesting the lime into our avocado. And then we'll cut this in half and juice the lime because the lime helps to keep the avocado from turning brown. You do want a decent amount of salt. And then we start mashing. And you can do that with a fork if you want it super chunky. Don't mash it up all that much. That looks good. I'm gonna add the onions and the tomatoes and the jalapeno and the cilantro. Continue to mix it up. Finish it off with a little bit of garlic powder. Let's plate it up. So check this out, the guac is ready to serve right now, or you can put it in the fridge, let those flavors marry for another hour. Either way, it's gonna be incredible, and you can find the recipe on our website. You can also check us out at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and when you try this recipe, please let us know about it in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Fuji reminding you that if I can make holy guacamole in a kitchen this tiny, you can make it in yours. We'll see you next time on Tiny Kitchen, Big Taste. Ole! Let's re we love Let's rewind. Guacamole, it tastes really good.